we are part of the global movement. So this dinner tonight at 7 p.m. happening all over the world. In Canada, in New York, in Australia, their local times, there is a dinner like this. 50 people, 20 people, maybe five people having food, and they're gonna discuss three different topics about learning, about veterans, and about health. So uh, today in KL, we gathered all the, the active society people who said, yes, we want to discuss what can we do better about learning in Malaysia? What can we do better about education in Malaysia? Right, so we're gonna get there soon. But now, I think everybody's super hungry. Yeah. 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 happening with our education system is uh, having financial or money management classes that's relevant and more to your current uh, current affairs like you know, compound interest, credit card debts and so on and so forth. And we want our children to have a choice, to be able to make informed choices about where they want to go next. I mean what we judge our success by should be the daily changes we make in ourselves and the lives of the people around us. Whether it's family, whether it's our communities, whether it's our societies at large. And politicians make a big deal about putting a big face upon how they'll change things, but it's down to us on a day-by-day -day basis about the ripples we create, right? And so those successes, those successes should be what we strive in our kids to make the real difference with. <laughs> So plate culture is plate and culture. So we call ourselves a community because we uh, we are just about people. On one side we have people, on the other side we have people. And plate culture uh, is a community which invites you, you actually, <laughs> to dine in real people house uh, with real people, with interesting people, and have real authentic food together. Enjoy. And there's beauty about connecting cultures. When you go to somebody's house and a person from a different culture, you break stereotypes. So it's all about meeting new people, getting to know new things, learn new things, try a little bit of good food, which is home cooked and made better than restaurants. <laughs> and at the same time, you, you know, you break stereotypes, learn new things. It's very empowering. First users, uh, they were from Malaysia. And it starts, of course, at first you have to have hosts or those people who cook and then guests on board. So first host to join were from Malaysia and then the next step was Singapore. This idea is quite new and usually um, it's not so new in maybe in Europe or even in Hong Kong people they call it supper clubs and like down kitchens or back restaurants. Over here it's more like people love to cook. Oh you love to cook and you enjoy hosting people, you know what you can do, it's play culture, you can do that, oh I can do that. So of course we need to approach them with a message. Uh, but then it's really a powerful message when someone joins or someone comes to the dinner then it's like, I know five people who love to cook. I'll tell them idea, this idea and then people then actually approach us to the website yeah. because you just open like culture.com and you can list your kitchen. Thank you all and I hope to see you in the next Plate Culture events. See you soon!